Hello everyone! Welcome to our next episode of the Comic Explorers. And today is Cartooning Tunes Day. So today we're going to be doing how to draw Sonic the Hedgehog and Friends. You guys excited? All right. So make sure you get out your pencils, pens, and white paper and join us for fun cartooning. And so we'll be doing cartooning live Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, Tuesdays are going to be cartooning Tuesdays and Thursdays are new comic book day. Um, so we're going to create, um, learn to create a uh, drawings from a comic book, a new indie comic on Thursdays. So join us next time for that this week. All right. So again, um, this is our channel on Twitch and presented by Emily at play.com and KidsCon New England, KidsConNE.com, a fun comic con for kids. Sonic the Hedgehog is actually a comic book. It's not just a video game. And you can check out these, uh, there are all sorts of fun comics online and at local comic book shops. And Sonic the Hedgehog is this super fast character that rolls up in a ball and um, and Dr. Robotnik is always in trying to um, do some evil plan and Sonic foils his plan. <laughs> they go on all sorts of fun adventures. Very colorful characters. And uh, like I mentioned about, you can find a local comic book shop near you. If you go to comicshoplocator.com, uh, you can support local shops. A lot are offering curbside pickup and delivery right now. So check that out. Okay, are you ready kids? <laughs> so today, first character is Sonic the Hedgehog. And we're going to learn to draw these characters using basic shapes. So if you can draw a circle and triangles and ovals, you can draw these characters, okay? And also feel free to leave a comment on the chat are over there off to the side. And let me know what characters you may like to draw at next Cartooning Tuesday. So let's start with his head. We'll draw a circle. And then let's draw his hair. He's got one, two, three, four of these triangles. So let's start at the top. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Now let's put another circle under his head. So this is for his body. And if you make a mistake, no worries. We're just sketching. You can erase it after. Like this. <laughs> okay. Now let's do his legs. So he's got his legs kind of crisscrossed. Let's start about the middle of that bottom circle and we'll draw some lines like that, kind of like a rectangle. And then right about here and behind that line, we'll do another one going the opposite direction. And he's got some big socks, so we're going to do a couple of curvy lines, like the letter C. And make a couple of bumps for his socks. And his shoes. So we'll start with, so they're like a triangle, right? One goes that way, horizontal, and the other goes vertical. Okay, and 
and he has a couple those rounded rectangles again that we just drew before. And I know Siri has one more little tail here um, behind at the bottom. So let's draw here behind him. And let's do his arms. So he got a little spaghetti arm on the left hand side here. So let's start here and we'll draw his like the letter C. And let's start on the other side. We'll do like you're doing the letter V. You can draw the letter V. And we'll do another of those little ovals for his gloves. And I'm going to draw the letter W. And this is going to, you can actually um, pretend this is a circle here too, the little letter W. We're going to put his fingers here. So we'll do a couple ovals. So do one that way and then one long oval for his pointer finger and then three ovals below that one two and three I'm gonna erase just a little bit here so you can see Do the other. Now the other one we're gonna do for his other hand do an oval and then you just you can only see one little finger here because the others are hiding behind there and I'm just gonna erase that little line. Just like that. Now let's draw that other circle that's in his belly here. Now let's work on his face. So he is looking off to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line of action. So I'm going to do a light, very light line here. I have like a center line. So it's just showing the direction the face is going. Okay. And we're going to use this center line to help us map out his face. I'm going to do another line going this way, a curvy line, okay, breaking up his face into two. Now let's draw his nose. So this is right in the middle here where our center lines meet. And he has an oval. And you see this line here, uh, the center line that goes horizontal? We're just gonna follow that line and make it a little curvy, like a bean for his cheek. And we're gonna put his, follow that shape upwards to draw a little mouth. And then I'm just gonna, little races. Now, um, right here, we're going to use this middle line that's going vertically as our guide, and we'll draw his eyes. So, we're going to do a big letter M. Okay. And we're going to do one eye in that half and the other eye in this half. He has a uni eye. 
I'm just going to erase this little line here. Okay. Next, we're going to do his ears. So he has tr some triangles. One on either side of his head. And then I'm just going to repeat the triangle shape again on his ear that's on the right hand side. The other one you can't see because it's behind him. All right. And then I'm going to erase that center line that I did earlier on his face. And you can keep this line here. Just going to erase it a little bit. And lastly, let's do a curvy line above his eyes. And here's our Sonic the Hedgehog. Great job, you guys. If you'd like to show me your artwork, uh, you can comment on our Facebook. If you go to facebook.com slash comic explorers, and you can find our page there and um, just do a post with your artwork. We'd love to see it. You can also go to emilyatplay.com and email me your art as well. All right. Now, if you guys want to color this after, um, you'll know that the colors you'll need are blue, black for his eyes, a peach color, um, like skin tone for his body and mouth and ear, and red. And then you can leave the rest blank for white. So it's just red, blue, peach, and black are the colors you'll need. All right. Next, we're going to draw tails. And Tails is a flying fox. <laughs> All right, so let's draw his head first. So you're gonna make an oval. And then he has a circle behind that. So we're gonna do a, for his little body here. And we'll do some ears, some triangles. I'm just going to extend this a little bit here. Making his face just a little wider, sorry. It's okay, we're just sketching. You can make mistakes. And we'll do another triangle here. Okay, let's do that curvy center line just so you can kind of gauge where his face will be. And then we'll do it again, that horizontal line going that way because he's pointing towards the right. Okay. And uh, let's do his work on his body. So we're going to do right about in the middle of that circle that's on the left hand side we'll do that rectangle shape for his leg now the other leg you can't see it's going to be behind him let's do another rectangle for his arms going up like that. and we'll do those oval bump shapes for his gloves And I'm gonna do his gloves next. So let's do an oval shape. And we're gonna make like that, those little bumps. So it kind of looks like the letter W. And I'm going to do his fingers. So do a couple of curvy lines here. They're going to make ovals like that. 
then let's do his other hand. So let's draw that oval shape again. And let's do that bump shape for his gloves. And we'll do another bump here for his thumb that's pointing out. And we'll do a couple lines for his fingers. There. All right. Now you notice that this hand is gonna look a little bigger because it's closer to you. And then it gets narrower as it goes further away from you. And that's called foreshortening. So things closer to you appear bigger and things farther away appear smaller. Now let's draw another bump here for his belly. So he has like a dividing line there. And we'll draw the, some bumps for his socks and his triangular shoes. Most of it's gonna be behind his hand there. Okay. And again, you can't really see the other one, but if you wanted to draw it, it actually would be right, right about here. So you can draw a little bump here. That's where his foot would be. Now let's draw his ear. We'll do repeat that triangle. And we'll draw it again on the other ear. And let's do his, right about his horizontal line here. Uh, we're gonna start drawing his whiskers. So triangles. One, two, three, four triangles. And we'll draw it again on the other side. I'm just racing a little bit. And let's do his little nose. He has a little tiny triangle nose. And we'll do his smile. and a little rectangle for his teeth, and then his tongue. Okay, let's do his eyes next. So right where that cheek bump here, we're just gonna do an oval. And re repeat that shape again. And his eyes kind of has these eyebrows pointing down. And I'm just erasing that center line. Let's do his ovals for his pupils. And I'm just going to adjust this here. It's gonna make his ear a little bigger. There we go, okay. Now let's do his hair. He has one, two, three spikes. So like triangles, narrow, oval, pointy triangles. And then you can erase the little bit in between. Okay. Now let's do his spinny tail. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm just going to add a little curve mark right here on his chest for his fur down there. Okay. Now let's do his curvy tail. So we're going to draw a big narrow oval above him 
and then we'll repeat that and draw a little oval, narrow oval in the side. And then we're going to do a couple swishy lines to make it look like it's spinning. And I'm going to draw some action lines going around it too. These curvy layer C's to make it look like it's really spinning around. And we're going to do a funnel shape going down. And let's do some dashy lines across it. Okay. And there he is. There's Tails. Great job, you guys. And if you want to color them, you just need a couple of colors. You need red and like a yellow-ish orange color. So you can do a yellow and then if you have orange, you can make it a little darker in some spots. And then red and the rest is just a uh, little black for his nose and then red for his mouth and his shoes. Okay. All right, next we're going to draw knuckles. Right, we're going to start with an oval for his head. Let's see. I'm just going to. And we're going to do another little um, oval for his cheeks. Okay. And we're going to do. An oval for his body going down. And we'll do those rectangle lines for his legs. And a couple of curvy lines. We're going to do his socks. This time they're kind of more cylinder shaped. They don't have the bumps. And let's do his shoes. So another oval with a little bump on the bottom. Okay. Let's do his arms. We're gonna do some curvy rectangle shapes here. And then this other one's like behind him, so we're just going to do a little curvy V shape. Okay. I'm going to draw his glove and repeat the shape on the other. And I'll draw a circle, big circle for his. It's like he's ready to box. Do a thumb. And I'm just going to do a little bump line here, like a letter W. And going to do another couple of curvy bump lines. And do the letter, like a curvy letter W. And let's draw some spikes on his gloves, so some triangles. And he has one thumb going out.
And let's draw some triangles pointing down on the other. do let's uh let's finish the shoes here i'm gonna repeat that curvy line shape that we did for the shoes and just give them some soles on the bottom of the shoe so we're just repeating the shape and we'll do the top a curvy box shape and then another curve connecting to the bottom of his shoes. And a couple circles. It's got like Lego pegs. Okay. Now let's work on his face. So we're gonna do a center line. So he's looking to the left. So let's do that. A little center line here. It's gonna divide it up. And let's draw his cheeks here. So we're just following that shape that we already drew. And it's gonna erase it a little bit so you can so you see that form we made. And we'll do a curve for his smile. And we're going to do just a couple of lightning bolt shapes for his teeth. Let's do his eyes. So he's got kind of a bump here, letter U, and Make that shape go up like that. And an eyebrow going pointing down. And we'll do another bump on the other side of his eye. This other eye. And do the other eye oval shape. And his pupils. Just gonna erase that little line. Let's draw a curve. His nose curves up, so we're just gonna do a curve shape and draw that little oval for his nose. Now he has like a Nike swoosh on his chest, so we're gonna do a swoosh. So like the Larry U. And let's work on his hair. So I'm just gonna kind of extend his head and make this shape a bump here. And he has one, two, three, four. Kind of like dreads, triangles. And if you want, you can make one of them go behind his arm like I did here. Or you could draw it going over his arm. It's up to you. I'm just erasing these lines I made earlier on his head. Okay. And I want to make a little curvy line where his hand is here. I just like to give it a little more dimension. All right, so now he has another little curve here. 
under his arm on the left, a little spike, and then he has a tail going down and up. So let's draw that behind his arm. And then it has a little triangle shape at the end. And there is Knuckles, you guys. Great job. I hope you're enjoying these and cartooning. And for him, again, just need a couple colors, red, green, and yellow. And his eye is blue, so you might want to add some blue there. Or if you want to make him look really scary, you can give him red eyes. That'd be fun, right? <laughs> All right, so we're down to the final character we're gonna draw today. And it is, bum bum bum, Dr. Eggman Robotnik. <laughs> All right. Evil villain. Have any of you seen the new movie? New Sonic movie? I'd like to see it. Um, Okay, so he has a little small circle for a head, then a big uh, oval for the body, and then some triangle shapes. And so let's do his head. So we'll start with an oval, or like a, sorry, a circle, start with a circle shape. And then we'll do the body, like an apple, or, you know, it's kind of more, it's like an apple shape, but then kind of like a pear, so it kind of points inwards. So let's draw that kind of, um, almost like a circle with a little tip. Okay. All right. And let's do some of his legs. So we'll start doing those rectangle shapes. And then again, Welcome. Welcome to Galaxy. and then his feet. Oh, I'm drawing on the table now. <laughs> it's okay. I can erase it. Let's do his arms. So do a little oval here. And do another oval going the other way. And his elbow goes back up. So I'm just going to do a little bump here. And then his elbow goes this way for the other, the opposite. Okay. So again, this is a foreshortening thing uh, where you see his arm is like really big and you don't see the whole thing. So let's do an oval. I mean, uh, sorry, circle. I'm getting my circles and ovals mixed up. <laughs> kind of like a cannon shape. And then he has his, like a, a box shape for his gloves. So it's like a square shape. And I'm going to draw a little bump like this, a little line to show his fingers. And then I'll do those couple fingers here. And then one of them is going to be on the outside separate. He's going to be stroking his mustache. Okay. Let's do the other. Uh, so we'll draw that cuff shape, so. So it's just like a cylinder shape here. And then we'll do another box for his hand. And then I'm just drawing his fingers. Alright, uh, let's do 
his uh, body. We're gonna do, do a center line, okay? Just because he's kind of pointing at this way, towards that way. So I'm gonna draw a curved line in the middle, like an angle here, and then do a curved line there. And this is dividing up his jacket. And I'm just gonna make the jacket flop like that. And then it goes up and it goes in a little bit here. Okay. And let's repeat that center line here. Just make his zipper. And I'll do a couple of hash lines, horizontal lines going through it. And I'll do an oval, like a, he's got some buttons. And then he's got some more buttons up at the top, some squares. Let's draw two squares on either side here. And then some horizontal lines. Okay. And I'm going to do a repeat that on his arm here. And do some hash, some horizontal lines. Now let's do that same thing for his legs. So he's got some more of those rectangles and little horizontal lines going down and on the other boot. Okay. Now let's draw the soles of his shoes. So we're just gonna repeat that shape. And then I'll do a little box at the bottom. Okay. And let's see what next here. Let's work on his face. So I'm gonna do that curved center line for his face, and then we'll do another one like this. And his nose is right in the middle. It's a kind of a triangle. It's got big schnoz. I'm just gonna erase those little lines. And then he has his spectacles, so two circles right on either side of it. And he has a little furl there, so a little W shape for his eyes. In between his eyes. I'm gonna extend the W like that. And we'll do his mouth is gonna be a little narrow rectangle shape. And you can do some vertical lines for his teeth. And his goggles, I can just do a couple of hash lines like that. And let's do his top of his head. He has his little goggles. So a couple of rectangle, curved rectangles. And then you're gonna make a circle one on top.
I like little box, little boxes on top stacked. Okay, and then a um, curved bump. Let's draw his mustache. So this is a long horizontal mustache and you can basically do a bunch of little spike shapes. And just keep it narrow and then goes back to his nose. is Dr. Robotnik. Now, I don't see too much of his ears, but you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna add a couple little ears on either side. Let's do that. He's got little ears. Okay, that's looking a little more like it. Oh, and one more thing we gotta do is collar. So he's kind of like really in this jacket, uh, we're going to do a curved line here and a meet up. So that's just going to form like a collar. There we go. And oh, just going to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's Dr. Robotnik. Great job, it you guys. Oh, um, you know what? <laughs> I forgot one more thing on his shoe. Let's do an oval. He has so many parts, doesn't he? Just one last thing. There we go. Now he's. Yeah, and then he's got a little flap on his jacket in the middle there. But yeah, I don't know. You don't have to draw that. I think he looks cool. Great job, you guys. I know that had a lot of parts to it. Okay, so if you enjoyed drawing these, uh, I'd love to see your art. If you want to share it with us on facebook.com slash comic explorers. And I also have free coloring pages for you guys. If you want to go on my website, emilyatplay.com and you can gather all sorts of uh, coloring activity pages and you can check out my artwork and my comic books and children's books that I've worked on, as well as there's a link to our KidsCon uh, events on that page as well. And if you like um, this channel, if you like to support my art in this channel, feel free um, to go to PayPal. Uh, you can paypal.me slash Emily at play to show your support. And thank you so much. Hope you guys had a lot of fun and Again, uh, if you'd like to check out uh, KidsCon New England, our next event is going to be on November 14th, 2020 at the Double Tree in Portland, Maine. And it's tons of fun activities, comic and children's book creators, artists, superheroes, pirates, princesses, workshops, magic shows, puppetry, costume contests, and you can be all sorts of family-friendly comic creators. Um, Kids under five are free, and you can get info and tickets on kidsconne.com. And on, we were going to have another event this June 14th at the Nashua, uh, New Hampshire venue, but unfortunately, due to the current pandemic and 
the closure of the venue until the summer, um, we had to cancel the event. So, so sorry about that. We were really looking forward to it, but we are looking to do a virtual kids con online in the meantime, um, in place of that event. So at least reach out to the community and um, support the fellow creators and share their works with you all. And again, if you want to um, go on, uh, uh, you can go on twitch.com slash Emily at play to see more of these cartooning lessons. And uh, I'll be posting on Tuesdays and Thursdays, as well as live. Um, feel free to chat with us and comment and you can find more activities at Emily at play.com. Thank you so much for watching and hope you had a fun time and we look forward to hearing from you guys and seeing your art so feel free to share them with us and have a great day and keep creating toodles <laughs>